who killed Sarah, stylized with a question mark, is a classic murder mystery with Netflix's signature stylish flair injected into it. The Mexican series follows Alex on his quest for revenge from the powerful Lascano family for his sister's death. Doctor, I need to know the truth about Sarah's past. We were best friends, but things between us didn't end very well. And not just that, after being wrongly framed for her murder and tricked by the Lascanos, Alex has spent the last 18 years in prison. You murdered Sarah. Hell bent on getting even, Alex launches an attack on the family only to realize that his suspicion was wrong and that he does not know which member of the family is responsible for his sister's death. A fictional murder mystery or a tragic real-life tale of misguided justice? Which is it? If you're wondering whether Who Killed Sarah is based on a true story or not, we have some answers for you. Is Who Killed Sarah based on a true story? No, Who Killed Sarah is not based on a true story. I won't do anything dangerous. Originally titled Quien Mato a Sara, the series is created by the famous Chilean writer Jose Ignacio Valenzuela, who has a career spanning over 30 years writing scripts for films and TV shows as well as books for children and adults. Oh, fuck. Man. Coming from a family of authors and having lived in Chile, Mexico, Puerto Rico, Europe, and the U.S., Valenzuela has written over 20 telenovelas, including the award-winning Santa Diablo. <laughs> You're the fucking help, you creep. Valenzuela is open about his habit of including experiences from his own life in his work. In an interview with ADN Radio about his most famous literary work, El Filo de Tu Peel, which is being made into a series by Sony Pictures Television. The creator reminisced about when he started his writing career in 2002 and said, I went to my aunt Anna Maria Gerald's, a well-known children's literature writer, and she told me lend the main character your past and your conditions, and it will not get out of hand because you are writing about someone you know. Okay, I'll just grab this one. The protagonist of El Filo de Tu Peel is a gay playwright who, after coming out of the closet, moves to New York and starts a torrid new life with a man he meets there. There are multiple similarities with Valenzuela's own life here. We also see this clearly with a character on Who Killed Sarah, Jose Maria, Eugenio Siller, who Valenzuela has clearly based on himself. Esto no es un juego. In the show, Jose and his partner, a gay couple, struggle to find surrogates as they try to have a child and also face disdain from Jose's homophobic father. In real life, Valenzuela is also in a same-sex marriage and has an adopted daughter. He is a vocal advocate of Lugia Plus rights and often talks about the inequalities he faces due to his sexual orientation. Clara is carrying our baby. It'll be here soon. We see Jose show very similar indignation in the show to his parents' closed-mindedness. Another influence on Valenzuela has been that of Augusto Pinochet, Chile's military dictator from 1973 to 1990, under whose rule Valenzuela spent his childhood and early youth. Friend, and your entire family. We're going to Atlanta. The militaristic attitude of the head of the Lascano family most likely draws from Pinochet, something Valenzuela has done in the past as well. Apart from the characters, the plot of Who Killed Sarah itself draws inspiration from the creator's childhood. Valenzuela is well known for his family dramas and mystery plots. In an interview with The Impartial, Oaxaca, the writer stated that he was a huge fan of Agatha Christie and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle whilst growing up. Interestingly, the plot of Who Killed Sarah, at its core, is a classic whodunit, a style widely popularized by Agatha Christie. Do everything while you still have the freedom. Sarah, it's hard to be a mother. 
In most of the novels of Agatha Christie, a murder occurs, followed by a list of possible suspects who are all part of the same family or a group of strangers, and each has their own motivation to commit the crime. All of it, Lisa. I know you can't understand right now, but... <sighs> Quite often, it is the least suspicious person who is the murderer. Despite starting as a revenge story, who killed Sarah very quickly becomes a murder mystery with the protagonist Alex as well as the audience trying to figure out who committed the murder. A not-so-subtle clue as to the inspiration for the story is also the starting of the first episode, which opens with an Agatha Christie quote. Therefore, Who Killed Sarah is a work of fiction derived from real-life experiences from the creator's life and inspired by the books he read as a child.